you're not gonna believe it but this f4 phantom sitting over here is a drone it was used as a target drone to be shot down upon its retirement in 1996 316 f4 aircraft were converted to drones right here at Mojave Airport 360 this is a drone oh my goodness this F4 was built by McDonnell Douglas in St. Louis, Missouri in 1964. It was flown by the US Air Force in Vietnam. In 1986, it was converted to a drone by Track Tracor Flight Systems. The US Air Force loaned this aircraft to Moabi Air and Spaceport for display in 1988. So they actually used to have these things fly around and other dudes would shoot them down with current training exercises. That sounds pretty outrageous. It's hard to believe that F-4 Phantoms were used for, to be shot down as drones. But they were hundreds of them. 316 in this batch. Quite a few other aircraft that met the same fate. And a lot of those aircraft were made right here in Moabi Airport, Moabi, California. By the way, if you come here, you're not supposed to climb in the airplanes. <laughs> I think you're quite welcome to walk around them as much as you want, though. One thing I like about finding abandoned aircraft is the further research that it cost, and this one did quite a bit. <laughs> it even caused a little script here. By the 1980s, a significant variety of ground-to-air and air-to-ground missiles had been developed. The U.S. military wanted a full-size supersonic aircraft to use as a target. It would even be better if the target aircraft could perform invasive maneuvers like an enemy aircraft. By this time, America had been sending her retired military aircraft to the davis monthan Air Force Base in Tucson, Arizona, southern Arizona, very dry. By 1986, they had thousands of aircraft there, and hundreds of them were F-106 Delta Dart fighter interceptor, all-weather interceptors. 194 were selected to become drones. They were first restored to flying condition by the 309th Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Group. They were then flown to Mojave Airport where they were modified into remote flyable aircraft or drones. The aircraft were capable of taking off and landing by radio control. They could also still be flown by a pilot. And in fact, every time one flew, there was always at least two other aircraft with it. And these were all drone aircraft being flown by other pilots. When they landed, they had one behind it, and that's how they brought it in. They didn't have cameras on it. They just visually did it from directly behind. And then eventually, they auto-landed, full auto-land. And today, they auto-land perfectly. When the aircraft were finished, they were flown to Elgin Air Force Base in Florida and assigned to the 82nd Tactical Aerial Target Squadron. These aircraft, these Phantoms, they cost $800,000 each to convert into drones. Today, they use F-16 Fighting Falcons that cost 2.2 million bucks a piece to convert. I'm not sure what the first generation is of aircraft that they converted to drones, but it was before the F-106s. The 106s were considered second generation, and the third generation came along in the 1990s. By the 1990s, the Boneyard was full of McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantoms. They started to convert those into drones. They did 316 or 318. I've got two different reports, but they made a lot, and they started using those. After that came the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcons, and those are kind of finishing up right now. They're now seeking a stealth alternative. <laughs> They're looking for a stealth fighter to, to shoot down, and I wonder if the Lockheed F-117 uh, Nighthawks are going to become the next aerial drones. They've also done quite a few other different types of aircraft over the years for all different types of tests to destruction and others. They make remote aircraft that can land, no problem. I really like it when an abandoned aircraft makes me do a whole bunch more research in it. It just It's just fun being on the road. Hey, I need to help me a lot with the subscriptions. Uh, they're free. Please hit subscribe. Thanks a lot.